Since 2011, when Activision Blizzard introduced the first toy-to-life game Skylanders Sp uh, Spyro's Adventure, a game global sales in the category have rocketed to more than four billion U.S. dollars. Toy giant Lego last year made a new game with Warner Brothers to bring the building blocks into Toy to Life category in order to compete with the likes of Skylanders. With Toy to Life games becoming more and more popular worldwide, a reporter Xi Jia visited Lego's Danish headquarters to find out the trends in the super big toy market. Lego is a favorite of almost every child worldwide, no matter what the age group. They can teach stuff and they're fun to play with. It. Both of my boys are always interested, have been always interested in Lego. Every kid can be creative and uh, build their own figures and make their own stories uh, and change it every time. Those colorful bricks spark creativity in youngsters and of course, Parents are so proud to see their little ones design figurines and buildings of all shapes and sizes. But last September, LEGO brought a Toys to Life series called Dimensions into the market. It ties video games to physical toys. And the, the digital part of it, not just in the iPad or the digital device that the kids have. Uh, they, we wanted it to be everywhere, um, which is something that we hadn't seen before. That um, that we could not only just have the toys that you collect and you can scan and that can be in your game, but you can go out and you can buy a, a book, for instance, and the, you can find in there a special power for your game, or you can go to Legoland and there's a big flag or something, you can scan the flag. and Even the t-shirt I'm wearing right now has a code on the back that can be scanned. And so we wanted it to be the experience to be everywhere. Toys to Life is a genre of video game using physical figurines to interact within the game. Those toys use a near-field communication or image recognition data protocol to determine the individual figurine's proximity and save a player's progress data to a storage medium located within that piece. LEGO is the latest toy maker to step into this $4 billion Toys to Life market. Such is the enthusiasm surrounding this genre. Future trends are predictable. The future for us is how do we take the, the experience that children have when they combine bricks with something that is also digital. And we will continue to explore that because digital is here to stay. And for us it's all about how can we create experiences where we're taking the physical uh, building experience and using digital, digital content to leverage that, make it even better. Since its line of products are already popular, as are their video games based on the toys, LEGO is a natural fit to join the Toys to Life market. Whether it's just following the latest trend or it has been based on true inspiration, it's no surprise that LEGO has found a real foothold in this market. It's not so much about Toys to Life, it's, it's, it's more a question of what, what is it that children all around the world find fun and engaging and relevant. And uh, you say the digital aspect is a natural part of, of how to be a child today. So for us as a company, of course, we also need to meet consumers where they are, children where they are. Toys to Life games are certainly not perfect yet, but it looks like a category that is going to develop fast. Through creativity and hard work, it may be time for the Chinese companies to find this corner in this booming market before it becomes too crowded. Xi Jia CCTV, Beilang, Denmark.